Um, how tough has the last two days been? Can you do something um, for you for just kind of going back to? Um, I mean, it's it's very tough. It's not as tough on me as it is certainly on them, but certainly emotionally, um, you know, very very challenging. Um, certainly puts things in a lot of perspective. For you, Brad, I mean, looking at the schedule, you could have easily gone back today and not missed the game, but there was something obviously that compelled you to go back. Could you talk about what really made it? Well, it was just the fact that conditions were worsening and, um, you know, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to, I'll let them talk about his condition, so, um, but I just felt like it was, you know, I, I, I'm glad that I went. Did you uh, watch video of the, of the game? Were you yeah. able to watch it? I mean, yeah. So, I mean, I, I thought that we, we played really hard. I thought that um, some, some plays we'd like to have back, especially at certain times of the game when we were, you know, it was 88-81 and we had two or three plays that didn't go our way. But we could have cut into that lead. You know, we had the 10-point lead in the first half and then they went on their run and that's going to happen. You're going to play a game of runs. But I thought that we could have controlled things, um, you know, a little bit better to give ourselves a better chance. Now, I, I thought that their guys played well. I thought Derrick Rose was really impactful in the game. And, um, but I thought our guys, do, you know, and I told them this today, that, you know, we've got to get better in a lot of areas. Um, but we, we usually play hard. Sometimes we play a little haphazard but we usually play hard. And so we need to bottle that up, and then we need to play a little bit more controlled at times. Do you think you're saying that you guys didn't play as hard as you did the other night? Or? No, I felt like we did. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was that was what I thought. I thought they played really hard on Thursday night. Did you guys watch the game live uh, the other night? Or? I was, I was, uh, I watched, I watched most of it live, but I, you know, watched, obviously, I watched it all on film. Brad, Isaiah kind of took the bullet for the, 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 the loss. He just said his body language, his emotions. He let it. Just what does that mean when a, when a guy? It might not, you know, obviously not the case, but he kind of said it was all his fault. One of his worst games as a pro. What? Well, I think I think that you know, it's hard to do an interview after a game. <laughs> you know, and and that's that's the reality of it. There's there's a reason why, you know, and. On those uh, on those biggest stages, there's a cooling off period and everything else. And sometimes you you say things emotionally. Um, I think it says a lot about him from an accountability standpoint. Um, and at the same time, I think that um, you know that's that's an overreaction too because we don't feel that way. So um, you know, hey, he's 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 going to have his moments. Other guys are going to have their moments. Other guys are going to have some bad moments. And you know. We've just got to all be in this thing together and you know, try to improve together because we need to improve. You guys are shooting 24 percent for the last eight games. Is there anything you could do to raise that? Is there anything you're seeing? You I think that we. Away from that, maybe? I think that I think that we've gotten. I think when when things get tough, we've tended to lean on that a little too much. You know, we, we've talked about being calling it home run hitting instead of hitting singles. Um, it's not only the you know, it's, it's less about the distance and the shot itself, but sometimes they've been hurried. Um, and so I think we need to just exhaust more options to attack the paint via the drive, cut, or roll, or post. Yeah, we, obviously, how much does that impact Yeah, whatever his percentages are, I think that's that speaks to. He's 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 certainly our our best at running off screens and shooting. Um, and he can, he can get going. Um, his shooting percentages have been really good from beyond there all year. So when, you, when you're missing him, you're going you're gonna to take a dip inevitably over the course of a number of games. How much did he do to him? He did everything. Is he good for tomorrow, do you think? Or Based on my evaluation today, he looked pretty good. But I'll let him and Ed make that call. Um, but he did do everything today. It was encouraging. Everyone else, everyone else good or? Everyone else did everything as well. What are your thoughts on just how the overall offense has operated recently? Yeah, I think what I said earlier. I think, you know, it's interesting. I, we have moments where we really look good, where we're really moving the ball, where it's really fluid, um, where we're really playing together. And not, not ironically, those moments are the same when we're really defending together. And then when we start, 
you know, taking a quick, tough shot, usually more out of competitiveness than it is out of like, you know, anything else. It's, it's actually a trade that, you know, these guys want to hit home runs because they're competitive. Then, um, then our defense lags a little bit. So it all runs together. And we got to play together on both ends. We got to play with the real purpose on both ends. And if we don't play well, we don't win. And we've talked about that. But um, I don't think our offense has been great. Let's put it that way. And Isaiah is in the middle. He's shooting career lows across the board. That's obviously because he's taking both shots this season for you guys. But what can you guys do to try to get him maybe some, I don't know if you would say better lows, but get him rolling? One of the things that I, one of the things I've tried to do um, recently with him is play him off the ball when we can. And that's actually been fairly um, fairly good. So I think just being able to decide when he's got the advantage to take the advantage and then otherwise getting himself off the ball some. You know, because when he gets it back with a live dribble, he's even more of a threat. And so I think that that's something that we've talked about. But, um, you know, with him, I, I don't worry about shots going down quite as much. You know, I know he really started really slow against Detroit, but like he's – at the end of the day, he's going to make shots. He, he works too hard not to make shots. He's too good of a shooter. Brad, guys after the Detroit loss were a little perplexed with the rotations. Isaiah had said that. David Lee has been said he's been told yeah. he's not. What, what, how do you kind of address that? Well, I tell him I look at it after every game, and we try to figure out the best way to proceed. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, yeah, you know, I'd love to have. I'd love to know every day exactly who's going to play for us, and I think they would too. Um, but the reality is, we have good players that are, you know, have a lot of have a lot of even ability to affect the game. You know, they're different in how they play, or they're different in their skill sets, but in their ability to really impact winning. I think there's a lot of good players. It's been our challenge. We knew that going in, um, and there's been times where it's been better than others. But that's also, you know, again, I think frustrated after losing the game and you know um, it's something that we need to I need to do a good job with and you need to accept that there's going to be times where there's going to be some frustration probably. How challenging has it been though for you Brad because there's been such evenness particularly in the front court for you to figure out? Well that's the most that's the biggest challenge just because of the the not only that but the the um, the likelihood of a lot of teams you're playing against playing small um, which, you know, you can counter by playing big and uh, or you can counter by stretching them or being able to match up with them and those type of things. That's that's a challenge. But credit these guys, you know, the way that, you know, and, and, I, and I read what David said, and David, that's what he should say. I mean, he was – I thought that was a, a great quote that exhibited his teamness and his desire. So I think that, it, you know, at the end of the day, that, that is a frustrating thing. But these guys have come to work every day and – They've all had good practices today, so I don't, you know, I, I credit them for their professionalism. You had said that David likely would play against Chicago, but that was before the circumstances. Would so you, David or Tyler, that, right? Would, yeah. would, 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 with Memphis being big, would that I mean, press it, more? I, we'll, we'll see. You know, we'll see. I, I don't want to commit to anything, mm -hmm. um, but I think that, you know, certainly they play big at times, but they actually start small. So uh, it's an interesting dynamic. So we'll see. I mean, I, we got to get us playing good. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Thanks Brad. Playing well. <laughs> <laughs> Don't quote.